so these 20 adobe indesign shortcuts i guarantee you that you will be able to speed up your workflow after watching this video so let's get started hello everyone so this is a tutorial of adobe indesign in which we are going to have a look at 20 shortcuts that are not general uh, those are difficult those are same across the different application instead these shortcuts and tips will be dedicated to adobe indesign and i hope that after watching this video you will be able to speed up your workflow so let's quickly go through all the shortcuts and i will be showing you with the live demonstration that how you can use these shortcuts and how they can be helpful in your design work so let's go very quickly first of all if uh, i have just selected a sample magazine or you can say an a booklet and we will be working with this and let's see so if you want to put any image on this page so what you can do you can simply click on control plus d okay so control plus d will give you an option to import any image and you can simply play place it and just move it wherever you want to do okay so moving on when you have created the document and want to export it in any desired format just simply click ctrl e simply press ctrl e and you will be able to export the document in any format that you want to like if you want to export it in adobe pdf just select pdf and just export it will give you an option you can set the general compression marks and bleeds accordingly and that is how you can export your document or any particular page that you want to export okay so moving on we have the document setting so when you start a document you keep some setting you keep the width height and everything but during the course of work if you want to adjust the setting of the entire document just simply press ctrl alt p so the document setup will be opened and you can adjust the bleed you can adjust the margin you can adjust the dimensions of the document as well so this is the third shortcut that we discuss and it can be very handy in your design work the next one is the package when you have completed your work and want to export the file in multiple formats so we choose the package option normally the clients want the package folder because it contains the pdf it contains, it contains the source file it contains the fonts and the links that you have used in the document so what you have to do just press ctrl alt shift p so it will open the package option and you will be able to export your document as a package folder on a single click so it can be very handy in exporting the package folder for your adobe indesign document okay the fifth one is defined let's suppose you want to replace particular words in your document like for example here you can see it's it is written temporary capitals and i want to replace the temporary with the permanent in the entire document so it is a very difficult task to find each and every word and then change so what you can do simply press ctrl f and you can put the word that you are looking for and you can simply change into what you want to do and simply click change also you can see that all the 13 replacement in the document has been replaced okay as you can see that it has been transformed into permanent okay and the third and the sixth one is the add page okay in order to add page at any location for suppose i want to add an, a new page here so simply you can press ctrl shift p so you can see uh, that another page has been added at page number 22 and since we have already adopted the master page layout so it is all it is placed on that page that we have added okay so i have undo using the key control z okay and moving on we have the option of going to a particular page let's suppose if you have a 300 pages document and 500 pages document so it is very much difficult to scroll up and scroll down or using this toggle bar to go up and down you can do control plus j and it will take you to any particular page that you want to view or you want to make changes to that one so you can see we are on the page number five or we 
if we want to go to to any other page like page number 15 it will take us to the page number 15 look we have come to the page number 15 so that is a shortcut to go to any specific page okay so now come towards the formatting let's suppose you have this paragraph and you want to change the style you want to change the size you want to change the font so it is very much easier just select the box and press control t and you can see that you can change the font you can change the style you can change the font size means each and every option related to character is available in this panel okay if you want to adjust the paragraph style like if you can see that this paragraph is left aligned okay so we can change we can make changes to the paragraph style by simply press alt control t so it will open the paragraph we can currently this is you, you can see that it is justify left so we can only do it left align we can do right align we can do center align we can do justify left so so these are very small tricks that can be very handy during your adobe indesign work okay let's move on and let's talk about something to transformation okay uh, let's suppose you have uh, this image right and you want to scale it like you want to scale it down okay so when you just put your cursor over here and do something like this so it will crop the image it will not scale the image okay i haven't do that okay so for scaling you have to make sure that you have pressed the control key okay and for uniform scaling i have pressed shift so with control plus shift if you move the cursor inwards so it will be uniformly scaled okay and in the same way if you press the control shift d and move the cursor outward so it will be uniformly scaled up okay if you want to if you want to scale from all the sides equally so you can do control shift alt and then scale it down so it will be uniformly scaled from all the sizes equally so that is a uh, that is also a small trick that you can adopt and to make to scale the objects or images okay okay we can see that there is a shape and there is the text written okay so when i select those these are separate objects okay i want to make it one and move it and do any other thing with it so i have to select both and press control g so what it has done it has transformed it into a single group i can move it all together okay and if you do not want to keep it group just simply press control shift g and it will be ungrouped and you can independently move any object that you want to do okay look if i have made selections so it will be the selection will be made on both of the objects right so i do not want to make selection on this shape i just want to make selection on this text so for this i have to do just simply click click the shape that you do not want to get selected you do not want to keep working uh, to want to work on it just simply press control l so what it has done it has locked the shape on the object behind the text so if i make selection only the text layer will be selected as because the object shape is already locked okay so let's try on this i have locked it so if i make selection nothing will be selected okay if you want to ungroup everything just simply press alt control l and as you can see each and everything that we have locked has become unlocked once again okay so these were okay let's also let also talk about the zoom and zoom in and zoom out for this the shortcut is control shift space and click wherever you want to go in and in order to zoom out control alt space and click from where you want to zoom out so this is also a shortcut that you can use okay let's move to somewhere else uh, let's talk about the paragraph options like if i have created this text box and i want to make adjustment uh, to its height to its width one option is to simply holding the alt key and i can drag it and it can 
mod it can be modified but if you have any specific dimensions or uh, measurement that you want to follow so for that select the paragraph and press control b so it will open the text frame options from here you can increase the width you can decrease the width you can adjust the spacing of that particular paragraph so that can be very handy in your text formatting moving on uh, like i have created many tables in this document as well so there may you may come across for any similar design work that demands to create tables so for creating the table you so for creating the tables what you have to do press control alt shift t and here you go as you can see that you can adjust the rows of the table you can select the columns header rows footer rows and you can choose the style and what after inputting your parameters click ok and just make selection okay you can see that it has created a matrix of 4 by 6 that we have given the values and we can put our text in it or we can format it in the way we want okay so that is a shortcut to create the tables okay let's moving on as you are well aware when you are working in adobe illustrator adobe photoshop or adobe indesign the layers are very much important so there comes a point when you have to deal with the layers you have to move up and down so for that just click on the f7 and you can see that the layer panel is open currently i only work in one layer because there was no requirement but you may come across to deal with multiple layers so we can create multiple layers okay and if i create this layer i can simply put into layer number second as you can see the this this layer and if i create the box it will be put inside the sec layer number two so in this way you can open the layer panel and create objects inside this layer option okay another important thing when uh, you are working with adobe indesign you have to import links that can be images that can be document or anything else so there is a links panel that is very much important so in order to access the links panel simply press f6 and sorry simply press Control shift d so here you can see that links panel has opened and you can make adjustment you can add it in the original source from here like there here is the ai file is connected you can i can simply double click on it and will it will go into the adobe illustrator to make the adjustment as we want so this links panel is very much important and you can open it by pressing ctrl shift d okay so these uh, were the main shortcuts that are available in this panel and you can speed uh, you can certainly speed up your workflow by if you memorize it and keep practicing and do the work okay let's uh, now let's discuss with some of the options on this panel so if i want to let's suppose i the pen tool is selected for example i want to move this paragraph so it will not be moved unless i click on the selection tool so you have to select the selection tool again and again so memorize the key keyboard shortcut v so it will be transformed in the selection tool and you can easily move the text okay okay so the second one is the direct selection tool that has a shortcut a uh, so let me tell you why and how this selection tool is important uh, look in selection tool you can simply increase or decrease the height and the width of a particular object as you can see but what if you want to make it a rectangle let's suppose you have to play with the anchor point a anchor point can be accessed with the direct selection tool by pressing the shortcut a so by pressing the shortcut a the direct selection tool is selected and make the selection of this anchor point okay and you can move it anywhere and or change the shape of your object so that is the significance of the direct selection tool over here okay the other are the common shortcuts that you must be well aware as they are common with the adobe photoshop illustrator in design so the shortcut is t it will make this it will select the type tool and you can easily write your text inside it okay and moving on we have the rectangular frame for suppose you want to place your hyperlink behind this paragraph so rectangular frame can be very much handy as 
by selecting the shortcut F I have pressed the uh, key uh, F key and you can make selection and with that I can simply place my hyperlink over it I can place images in it there are multiple features of the rectangular frame tool uh, those will know who no normally use Adobe InDesign but you can make access to the rectangular frame tool by using the shortcut key F and then there is a pen tool when you have to make curves in the document so you have to use a pen tool and the shortcut for the pen tool is P you can make different curves using the pen tool by and by selecting the pressing the P key okay so the last one when you are dealing with the objects the eyedropper tool is very much important for example if I want to keep if I want to make selection of this rectangle to this color I want to make it same so the eyedropper tool will be very very much important just simply select this tool press I and click on this the color will be changed the control Z undo if I want to make the selection uh, the color selection of this to be same as the dark brown I can select this rectangle box press I and click on this so it will change the color of the rectangle so in this manner it can save a great amount of time if you are dealing with multiple color changes in your document and this shortcut can be very much handy so I believe that if you have completely gone through this video these 20 shortcuts is surely going to change the lives of